uh, if they give you capital like this, it means it is the capital when? At the end of? At the end of the year. Okay. So it means, remember, capital is affected by what? By the drawings and the profit and something like that. Can you see now? Mm -hmm. Yes. So for the sake of this, né, for the sake of this, uh, because this question was not, to make it simple, this question was not meant for this uh, statement of changes. We just decided to have statement of changes. Né? Mm -hmm. So for this, for the sake of this exercise, I want us to change uh, this, not to change, just to put a date next to it. I'm going to put first March 2018. You understand what I mean? Okay. Because I'm just showing, because, but remember this, uh, they didn't want you to do, so I don't want to be complicated. So I just want to show you how that it work. So firstly, we will put the balance at the beginning for this capital. How much is the amount for capital for now? I have 19,000. It's 19. Five one. Five one nine thousand. Five one nine thousand. Yes, I'm gonna use that. I'm just gonna. Uh, let me do this. Uh, first. I'm gonna go back there. Let's see. I'm going to just say balance as at first of March. Ne? Twenty eighteen. We're going to say five one. So you can call it balance at the beginning, even if you don't put the date. Can you see the way I put it? Ne? Even if you don't put the date, you just put balance at the beginning. They still allow it. Mm -hmm. Are we together? Yeah, but I can't see. You can't see? Mm -mm. Ah, yeah, now I can see. Now I you can, can see. see now? Yes. You can see what I wrote there. Uh, balance as at 1st of March 2019. Capital. Or you can say balance at the beginning. It's up to you. Okay. Okay? Mm hmm now, uh, uh, what is important is I'm just showing you the format, okay? So obviously the balance, you can easily find it from what? From the list of balances, okay? Mm -hmm. So the next thing that you must check, you must check from the additional information, from the adjustments, did mm -hmm. you increase capital during the period? So when we went through the information there, let's go and check. Do you have any additions to capital or did we reduce capital? What do you have? Any about capital that they said we might we have increased capital or something like that no so it's no but because you know i'm just showing you for the future i'm just gonna go there and just write it like so that in future you know what so if you found any contribution there you're just gonna write additions to capital like that i'm just say if you found it obviously you can find it from what from the additional information are we together okay but I don't have okay. it. Let's say the, the capital has been increased by 5,000. I will go and increase by 5. I'm going to write 5,000 here. Does that make sense? Yes. No problem. But as, as we had, as we had uh, during the year, we had uh, drawings, uh, interest. Are we going to are we gonna play with the capital or is it going to stay the same? Because if this no, capital was... If this capital... No, we're still going to use them. Okay. So remember for now, <laughs> let's go back to the question. Do you have any... You're talking about where? Here on the information? You know, we, you see, uh, we we just keep the... We, we change the capital to the beginning of the year. If it yes. was like... If it stays at the end of the year. And during the year, we had... Uh, drawings, interest, and all the things. Are we gonna <clears throat> are we gonna balance the capital or is it gonna stay the same at the end? 
No, remember, usually the drawings will definitely affect the capital. I was supposed to reduce capital thereafter. Okay. You understand what I mean? I do understand what you're you saying. Yes. Yes. So what I'm going to do, so drawing still is going to affect what? That's why I said for now, the capital there is at the beginning. I changed it to be the beginning. So I put it at the beginning so that I can show you everything. Can you see now? Mm-hmm. Yes. So, but it may be a, a bit complicated at the end. Like you said, sometimes if the capital is at the end, it means I had to minus so that I can show a new balance for capital at the beginning. So for now, I just want to make it easy. Remember, this exercise was not meant for that, but I'm just trying to show you the simple way so that you can see how it works. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So now, after doing that, we need to check. Remember when we did our... Um, statement of comprehensive income remember uh it's just that i deleted remember we did make uh, i want you to go and check the amount that we made did we make a loss that the, the amount at the end is it a loss or a profit that we made it's a loss it's a loss so again if you made a loss ne? so you need to bring it here again but obviously the loss will reduce the capital. So you must, the loss, how much was the loss? Uh, 1435. Yes, Can you see my screen? Yes. Yes, so if it was a profit, you won't put it in brackets. Can you see now? Can you see? Uh, I just want you to know how are they related? <laughs> yes. Any question? Mm -hmm. So, do we have any drawings? If you go and check from the balances. Um, yes, we have drawings. How much is that drawings? 93,000. Ninety-three thousand. Eh? Mm -hmm. Ninety-three thousand. And again, drawings will reduce the um, the capital. So I don't know if you can still see my. <coughs> yes, I can see. Sorry. You can see. Okay. And after doing that, the only thing that is left is to make sure that we calculate and the amount at the end we want to call it the balance as at we know our period when did we end mm. 28th of, of february 2019 how much so you just have to use the calculator 519 minus the other two okay <laughs> Is it like this? I can see. Can you see? Can you see? Yes, I can see. Yes, that is how, what is we call by saying statement of changes in equity. Mm. 
Okay. Let me ask a question on that one. So this uh, this would be the final amount for the Come end again? of the year. This amount this will be the final amount for the end of the year. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I think this one is is easier than uh, shep, uh, shep, then shep yeah this one is easy mm. okay yes another statement is called statement of financial position um for um usually they ask for um how many statements Ah, because it's a test, uh, you know, sometimes they don't, they, they don't even like, you can check, this was the test, if you can check this test, can you see the way, how they ask it? Because you can't put record everything, they're too long. Just imagine one hour. Can you see here, they only wanted what? Part of what? The statement, only one section. Mm -hmm. So if they can ask you this one, I'm telling you, they cannot even ask you as a disposal because you won't finish. So they just play around there you never know what are they gonna do but they don't they, they normally play around statement of profit and loss they play around asset disposal can you see that yes the one that we did uh, yesterday yes yeah. yeah but for the uh, even the statement of the one that we just did the statement of changes in equity is too short can you see now because they need to fit everything <laughs> Sometimes they ask for the notes. Can you see now? So you'll never know where are they going to touch. Okay. Mm. So if you can check here. So the statement of financial position it all is like the format is similar to what we just did. It's just that when we speak about the statement of, uh, of financial position, is where we remember under statement of profit and loss we dealt with incomes and expenses. Remember? Mm -hmm. So here is where we are going to deal with the other groups which are remaining. The first group will be, I think, uh, if let me do this. The first group is going to be assets. Okay. Yes. And then under assets is then that you will have non current assets. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's put it nicely here. Just want to change the color for this one. Okay, non current assets, and then under non current assets is where you are going to have <coughs> remember property planning equipment mm -hmm. so this is the first and there's a note for that can you see now okay there's a note for that but sometimes if they ask you for this, they don't ask you for the notes. You must also know how to do this without the notes. So obviously here with the property planning equipment is where, if you can check, we put our, can you see now, we've got here, if you can check what we have, we've got what? Land and building. We've got accumulated in the equipment. Can you see now? You remember what we did, like we did the PPE yesterday? Yes. 
Mm. Yes, you must also know how to do that note and you must know how to do it here. So what we need to do in this case, because we're not dealing with the notes now. So we need mm -hmm. to make sure that we put this information in brackets because they can ask you this without the notes. So I'm going to need land and building. I'm going to need equipment. equipment. I'm going to need accumulated. accumulated and you must also go and check from the information whether we have got any information that can affect these three things. So for now, I'm gonna need this. Yeah? So I'm gonna ask for the amounts uh, from you, and then let me. Do <coughs> okay. Mm. So I'm just gonna put everything in brackets there. Eh? Mm. So give me the amount for the the, the land and building first. Eh? For fifty thousand, mm -hmm. maybe for fifty thousand. Um, and then what about the other one? The uh, it was how much? Equipment, three forty thousand. Yes. Three forty thousand. <laughs> what about the accumulated? One forty-five thousand. One forty-five thousand, and I'm gonna minus that one, okay? But we had depreciation from the given information. How much is the depreciation? Eh? Remember the one that we had from the given information. Must also minus that one. It was fifty-one thousand, if I'm not mistaken. Let me check on that. Um... Under information, there's provision for depreciation. We didn't have it. We can even check the solution that we had. There's a depreciation understatement of profit and loss. Uh -uh. Yeah, depreciation. How much? It's one, two, nine, eight, fourteen. No, today. Oh, you are looking at the wrong uh, exercise. Today, I ne I don't remember that. You are looking at the exercise from yesterday. Today we, did statement, today, we did statement of profit and loss. Okay, just go to the question itself under, okay. under the adjustments. There is the provision for depreciation. How much was that depreciation? Check number four. Number four. Number four. Yes. Accumulate the accumulate depreciation. Eighty-three six <coughs> six hundred. Esther, you are mixing questions. We are you are talking about yesterday's question. I'm talking about today's question. You are talking about today's question. Yes, I'm, because we are doing today's question. We're not doing yesterday's question. They are not related. These questions. Today we are dealing with financial statements. The information oh, that yeah. we just learned. Yeah, it's uh, fifty-one thousand. This is how you should put it there, and then you put the amount. Mm -hmm.
um, the total is uh, five five nine four equal to five nine four. Yeah. Triple zero. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Remember, we're still under non-current assets. You may ask a question if it doesn't make sense. The next thing we must do, we must do what you call the financial assets. Here we, look, we are looking for any investments in the form of shares or any fixed deposit that we may have. We call them financial assets. Did you hear what I said? Financial assets. <clears throat> yes, any investment we, we have as a business. We, remember, we can invest in shares, we can invest in fixed deposits. So do you have anything like that in our case? Uh, any investment? Okay. I don't remember investing anything, even from the list. I don't okay. But if you have, let's say you've got a fixed deposit, you're going to put it there. Uh, if you've got any investment in shares, you will put it there. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go back. So I'm just gonna put zeros because I don't have anything. Or dash is up to you. And thereafter, I'm gonna add, I'm just gonna underline here. And then obviously the total for the current uh, for the non-current assets, I'm gonna put it there. Can you see? I'm gonna put it as what five nine. Remember this exercise, they didn't ask us for this. I'm just showing you. Can you see now? Yes. <laughs> so any questions so far? So we we dealt with the non-current assets. You can ask a question because the next uh, thing that we must if, do. Yes. If we add yeah. uh, the financial assets. <clears throat> yeah. uh, so it's going to be non-current assets uh, plus financial assets. No, remember financial assets are under non-current. You understand what I'm saying? So you were supposed to say property, plant, and equipment plus financial assets. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. So these two, these two are under this. Mm -hmm. And I'm still under the whole thing is called assets, but under non current assets, I've got these two things. I don't know if it makes sense. Yes. I was confused because uh, I saw it just here. I thought it was also uh, something like non current assets. Where? <laughs> you see where you put non current assets? Yes. And then property plans. I thought it was like the sum of everything. I didn't know uh, this was under non current asset. Okay, so it means for me to find 594, I said 594 plus zero. I oh, said this one plus this one, I got that one. Okay. <clears throat> So the next section is called non-current. Okay, maybe I must underline. Maybe if I underline, you'll understand. I must underline this one. I must underline this one. Yes. Let me see now. So now I'm dealing with the non-current asset, and usually we start with. <laughs> Inventories. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to know what com what does the inventories comprise of. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you can write it down if you have something to write down. Yes. 
we are looking for the um, are you ready mm -hmm. trading inventory trading inventory at the end of the period mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. we also look for what you call the consumable stores on hand consumable stores on hand meaning things like stationery on hand fuel on hand packaging material on hand but you will see from the adjustment where they tell you about those things on hand you understand what i mean we call them consumable stores on hand yes so we need to go and check i think already i know we have got inventory on hand at the end <laughs> go and check that usually we find this from the adjustment I think we do have inventory on hand. Can you see number one? Yes, we have inventory. Uh, yes. 64,000. No, not 64. Which information are you looking at? Question two. Are you looking at my screen now? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yes. Don't you see inventory on hand? Oh, yeah, we're looking at the adjustment, yes. Yes, yeah, so I've got that one. I'm, don't look at the one at the uh, from the uh, balances. No, I'm not talking about the one from the balances. You look at the one okay. I said at the end when you were writing notes. All right. And then I don't see anything stationary on hand. I don't see fuel on hand. I don't see packaging material on hand. I don't see things like that there. Do you see anything there? Mm -mm. So it means... For this one, I only have inventory of how much? Of 75,000. I don't know if it makes sense or not. Yes. So I'm only going to have 75,000. So if I found others, I'll put them in brackets together there and add them before I bring them here. I don't know if you understand or not. Mm -hmm. Can you yes. see you need to um, know what for me to find this what must i look for mm -hmm. can i can you continue mm -hmm. yes okay when we continue um there's something that we need to put after that we call it trade and other receivables and assets and again, there are things that we need to check. Something called trade and other receivables. That's the second thing. I hope you can see my screen. Yes, I can see. Yes. But again, we need to know what to find. So you can write these things down if you okay. can. So the first thing that I need, so I want us to look at them one by one. I need to find what we call the trade debtors. Trade debtors is what I'm looking for, now. Mm -hmm. Okay, I want us to look at them one by one. By saying trade debtors, it means I need debtors from the list of balances, and I will check from the adjustments if I've returned any data or not. Yeah, there's data. Okay, how much is the data there from the the list of balance, uh, the job control, uh, yes. 36,000. 36,000, eh? mm -hmm. OK. You said 36,000. But from the adjustment, did we write off any data from the adjustments, from the information? No, no there is no one. I remember the east. Let's go back. OK, let's firstly, uh, let me go back. So this is the balance that you gave me, 36,000, I agree, 36,000 mm -hmm. for debtors. And if I go to the adjustments, I think we did write off a data somewhere, the number six. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So I must use that one. I must minus that one. So I'm going to go there and minus. Uh -uh. 
So I'm going to say 36,000 minus 500. Is it, is it hard? 500, ne? Yes. Please, can you see, you need to make sure that you look for all the information. Don't just decide and say, I don't have it. You must go and check it because sometimes you need to read carefully so that you can know that it's not this. So yeah, you must minus 500 so far. That's what I did so far. I am minus 500. <laughs> I hope you are writing these notes down. I took the data from the balances. I minus any data written off. So I wrote off a data of 500. Okay. The next thing that I must check, I must check. Do I have any allowances for trade losses? From the list first. From the balances, <laughs> do you have any allowances for trade losses? No. We don't have. Let's go to the adjustment. Did we create a new allowance for credit losses? Mm -mm. Let's study oh, yeah. carefully. Create Did we create an allowance any allowance? Seven. For yes, seven. How we much? An allowance for credit losses of three thousand. We must minus that. Can you see now? So we need allowances that we have the new one so obviously here we are going to have minus how much uh, what is that? Is it 3000 yes uh -huh. minus 3000 uh -huh. 3, i hope you are writing the notes down uh -huh. so so far minus 3000 can you see now after checking the allowances, I must check. Do I have any accrued income? Remember, accrued income is an income still to be received. From our adjustments, do we have any income that we still have to receive? Mm -hmm. Yes. Do we have? <laughs> oh, 4,000. Any income still to be received? Yes, we have, no, we have accrued expense. No, we don't have accrued um, expected to be. I don't have accrued It's okay. If we had it, we are supposed to edit. If we had it, I repeat, we are supposed to edit. <coughs> yes. Okay, now we ask ourselves, do you have any prepaid expenses on this exercise? Any? Prepaid expenses. Go and check number three. Yes, we have rent of uh, of five uh, five thousand. It's been yes. Check my screen. We even wrote it down. Remember. Yes, but I so can't see the screen. Screen. You can't see the screen. So you must tell me no, if you don't see the screen. Eh? Okay, now I can see. You can see the screen. Eh? Yeah, now I can see. I'm gonna add that amount. How much you said is the prepaid? <laughs> Five thousand. Five thousand. So you must, this is what we found. <clears throat> so we just have to add everything and that will give us our trade and other uh, receivables. Total is three three seven five double zero. Three seven five, five double five. zero. Yes. So 
that is how to find the trade in other receivables. Okay. Remember, we're still under current assets, ne? Yes. The next thing that we must do, we must find what you call the cash and cash equivalents. And then for us to find cash and cash equivalents, we must look for the following. You tell me if you are ready to write it down. Okay. We look for any bank. Mm -hmm. We look for any petty cash. Mm -hmm. We look for any cash float. Mm -hmm. Let's go check from the list of balances. Do you see any of those? Yes, we have bank. <laughs> but bank. But mm -hmm. remember that bank must be positive first. For before we can do that, the bank must be positive first. So do we have is the under which side do you see the bank there? Remember this one is uh, is the trial yeah. balance. So it's, it's on the trade. That means it's a, that means that it's an unfavorable side. So in other words, that is a, a, a liability. Yes. So meaning the bank is not favorable, so I can't take that one. We only take the bank that is positive. So if the bank is on the credit, it's negative. We don't take that one. So we don't take that bank, okay? Mm -hmm. So let's go to information because we we you can you can find that sometimes we can have cash. Mm -hmm. Now that cash, uh, obviously, because we have got an favorable amount of money, so even that cash that we received won't give us uh, the cash. So at the moment, we don't have anything to record. Okay. Yes. So I think you'll remember what to, you did, you did write them down, okay? Mm -hmm. So for this, I'm going to put zero because I don't have anything because I didn't find what I was looking for. I'm going to put zero, but in future can find something. Okay. <coughs> for cash equivalent. Can you still... Yes, so for cash and cash equivalent, we've got nothing, we didn't find anything. Yes. Now we add them together, we can find the total current assets. Mm -hmm. It's double one. Double one. Two five double zero. Two five double zero. So that is the total of the non-current asset of current asset. Can you see now? I put it here. Mm -hmm. And now we add the two, this totals, this one, and this one, and we put them here. We call them total. Asset. Yeah, we add the two amounts, mm -hmm. and then those amounts we are going to call them <laughs> total assets. It's one seven one. One seven one. Nine triple zero. Nine fifty. Nine triple zero. One seven one nine triple zero. Yes. Okay, let me double check. I don't think because for me it's too much. Because you gave me a million there, one million something, and it doesn't. It cannot be more than a million. All right. Let me calculate it again. <coughs> oh. 
don't know. It's seven, 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 six, five, double zero. Is what I got. I don't know if it's the same. Yes. So this is the first section of the financial position. So we're dealing with assets. So this is how you must deal with the assets. Mm -hmm. OK. Yes. So the second portion of the statement here, I'm going to use the next page because I don't have space anymore. I'm going to go and start with what you call the equity and liabilities. So that's the section that I'm going to have. I'm going to deal with equity and liabilities. <coughs> that's my next section. And the first thing that I'm going to deal with, I'm going to deal with owner's equities. Okay. I can't see the screen. Can you see my screen? Yes. <coughs> Let me know if you're ready. Okay, so when it comes to equity, remember we just opened a statement called Statement of Changes in Equity. Mm -hmm. We want that final amount that we had at the end. Remember, if I can go back, we open that statement. If you can check, remember this statement? I don't know if you can see my screen. Yes. <laughs> The final amount we, we, we must take is the amount that must go there. We start with that amount. Um, yes, this amount from the statement of change in equity, this one is the one that must go there. Okay. Just put it directly there and say 2H2. I hope you will remember where to find it. Yes. Any question about it? Um, why are we putting that amount? Why are we? Are we putting that amount? Mm -hmm. Because remember, we're looking for the equity, the same as capital. So, Owner's equity is the same as capital. That's why we had a statement called, if I go back, check. Because remember, we're under equity and liability section. So if I go back, what is the statement? Change Statement of changes in what? Equity. Um, equity. Okay? Mm -hmm. And I even wrote here, can you see here? We're dealing with what? Capital. So capital is the same as owner's equity at the end of the day. That's why we check. We want this at the end. In a nutshell, it's like we're dealing with capital. Some books will write capital for you there, not owner's equity. Let, let, mm. let, let, let me and write something next to it there. Maybe here, next to it, maybe just write. Or let me just, put, yeah. I'm just going to write. Okay. So that you can I'm just put under brackets um, statement of change in equity. There. 
yeah. No, don't write statement. Don't, they will penalize you if you write statement of changes. Okay. So you must write owners if it's not statement <laughs> like that. So but you must know that you are dealing with the statement. All right. Okay. Can we continue? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put the next one. We're going to look for non-current liabilities after that. And then under non-current liabilities, we must look for firstly long-term borrowings. So by the long-term borrowings, we are referring to any loans that we have, any long-term loans that we have. So we must go back to the list. Can you see my screen? Yes. So long-term borrowing, we must go. Can I go to the list? Yes, you can. Do you see any loan? Yes, there's loan. Um... We bank. Yes, of how much? Um, three hundred thousand. Three hundred thousand. So, if we check from the information, anything that talks about that loan? Uh, yes. Number two. Can you please read that two. statement? The loan from EBBA Bank is interest free on the total capital amount of the loan will be repaid in full on 1st September 2019. This is important. So we must go and check because this will affect us. So this will help us to check if the loan that we have is short term or long term. You understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I want us to go there to our timeline so where do you think is the first of september 2019 between the year somewhere here huh? yeah between no it's not between come on first of september 2019 oh no it's after after the after it's the after you know. see now it is after the because this is the end of 28 fair. So we need to count the months in between here. Can you see here? Are you with me? Can't see. You can't see. Mm -hmm. oh. Now I can see. Can you see now? It's just like. Okay, I want you to see before I continue. Can you see now? It's still black. Okay. Let me know if you can see something. Now I can see. Okay. This is what I was saying. So, you can understand why I wrote this date here? It's because it's after the hand. It's after. Yes. <coughs> now we must decide if this loan, because they say it's going to be paid here. Ne? Mm -hmm. We need to check whether this loan is long term or short term. So, if we count and we find 12 months after, it means it's long term. Less than 12 months, it's going to be what? 
short term. Short term. So if I may ask you, we must count, we must start counting from here. Do we, must we count FEB or must we ignore FEB? No, we know FEB. Can we, we count, when we count, we start from? From March. From March, yes. Let's count together. <coughs> March, April, May, June, July, September 6th. Oh, you said September, you said six. If you count September, it's not six. Let's start again. You said March? Oh, yeah. Yeah, March. Yes. May, June, July. Five. Uh, uh, please, why don't you remember you must. Okay, let's count again. I want you to, because I don't want you to guess. I want you to make sure. Let's start again. March. Okay. April. <coughs> April. Mm -hmm. May. Mm -hmm. June. Mm -hmm. July. Yes. September. Ah, why did you skip the other month? <laughs> <laughs> Let's start again. I, I understand what you're saying, but I want you to be exact. August. August. I want you to say that. But we're not from from from. Uh, I think from July you said September. I can't be. <laughs> so we don't. I I understand what you did there, but we don't have to count September. We count up to what? August. Um, yeah. How many months? Six months. Is the loan short term or long term? Short term. Huh? It's a short term. Because it's less than 12 months, okay? Yes. Yes, so now we're gonna go back to our information there. We're gonna go back and show that we don't have what? We don't have what? Long term what? For a week. long term we loan. Yes. So <clears throat> usually we write it here. I'm just gonna put zero here. <clears throat> And we don't have that's the only because we're looking for the long term, we don't have anything there. I'm just gonna underline here. Can you see now? Mm -hmm. So I don't have if I had something here. I will also put it there. Do you understand what I mean? <coughs> yes. Yes. I hope you understood what we just did. Uh -huh. So the next thing is current liabilities. Okay. And then we just decided before we forget, we just said the loan is short term, remember? So we're going to say short term portion of the loan. How much is that loan? Um, 3,000. 3,000. 300,000. Thank you. Remember, if it was not short term, it was supposed to be long term. Okay, if you've got any question, please ask. And then we have a, something again called trade and other payables. That's the next thing that we must put on and current liabilities. And then under trade and other payables, if you've got a, if you are ready, you can write the following so that you can know what you must look for. Okay. You must look for creditors control.
creditors council accrued expenses accrued expenses by the way you add them then yes uh, okay. income received in advance income received in advance remember income received in advance is the same as prepaid income okay so you must look only for those things <coughs> let's go to the list of balances do you have any creditors control yes how much 74 70 74 74 rent 74000 74000 okay no problem that is the creditors control and usually the other ones we find them from the adjustment do you have any accrued expense from the adjustments <laughs> Expense still to be paid. Any accrued expenses? Yes, we have accrued expenses. Four thousand. Four thousand. Mm -hmm. uh, it means yeah, correct number nine, eh? Four thousand. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna write four thousand there. Do we have any income received in advance? Mm -hmm. Yes. <coughs> Which one? We don't have, no? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we only have the two, so we just have to add them together. Are you okay so far? Yeah. So now we must look for any bank overdrafts. So any bank, I think our bank is negative, no? Yeah, bank is negative. So how much is that bank? Excuse me? How much is the bank that is negative? Oh, 45. Ah. 45, 000. yes. <laughs> but remember, there was an adjustment where we received cash, so we must minus that cash because we received that cash. Uh, I think it was for um, if you go back to the adjustments, let me go back there. Oh, let me check the bank first. You said the bank is. Okay. Yeah, correct. It's negative 45. It's paying overdraft. Eh? Uh, from the adjustment, the, they say case that we received the on the 8th. Remember this case? Yes. Of how much? A thousand rand. So we must minus it because the, we must go and minus it because we received. It will reduce the bank overdraft. So we must go and minus it. Because now our overdraft is not forty five thousand anymore because we received we received a thousand run, so meaning our overdraft is less now. So I'm gonna minus what a thousand, okay? And the overdraft will be how much? Forty-five. 
Okay. okay, so now we can add all the current liabilities together and find the total of the current liabilities. <laughs> Thank you. That those are the current liabilities. Mm -hmm. Now we have to add the two figures that you see there. And we call them total equity and liabilities at the bottom there. It's seven zero. Yes. Four five double zero. Four five double zero. Mm -hmm. Like this, ne? Like this, no? I can't see. You can't see. Mm -mm. Uh, let me just do this. Can you see? Yes, that's it. But usually, ne, it must be the same as the total assets. Mm -hmm. Can you see now? So this is there's a difference of a two thousand. I don't know. Maybe we made a mistake somewhere. Let's see. Maybe if we can find. Can you see this one is seven oh six? Yes. And this one is. <laughs> So it means there's so a 2,000 difference. Let's see if you can. But if you're writing an exam, you cannot find it. Don't change anything because it's just a minor thing, OK? So I can't see any 2,000 here. Maybe it's when it's, uh, by the time when we, we were recording, maybe you know we missed something. Let's see. I don't see anything. So we just remember they didn't ask us for that. Remember they, they they did ask, but it's okay because we did. If you can check it, they asked us for. They only wanted what? The current liability. So they only wanted this part. They only wanted us to show this part. Only this part. Okay. Can you see now? They only wanted us to show this. Only this. Not the whole thing, but for us, we showed the whole thing. <coughs> yes. uh -huh. So this is what we call the statement of financial position. OK, but it, it's a lot. It's a lot. That's what I'm saying, it's a lot. But for the test, they won't ask you everything. We won't finish. So they will just choose whatever they want so that they can fit everything. But as long as you know what to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. As long as you know what to do. 